Hey there, this is your Ashafi ma'am. How are you my students? I'm missing your lovely faces. Whatever, today I'll take your English second paper class. So take out your the new grammar t-book and open unit 3. Unit 3. Every morning. These are some things that you can use every day. Look into the mirror to find their names. Write the names under the pictures. So first one, I can see a, here you have to write toothbrush, okay? And the next picture, it is a soap. So here you have to write soap. I can see a bar of soap. The next picture is a shampoo. So here you have to write shampoo. I can see a bottle of shampoo. The next picture is towel. So here write towel. I can see a towel. The next picture is comb. So write here comb. And then it's brush. So write here brush. And the last one is tube of toothpaste. So write here toothpaste. Then next unit, unit 4. My toys and games. So number A, pick out the names of the toys and games from the shelves and complete the sentence, then read the sentence carefully several times. So here you have to pick the words from these shelves. So here is my teddy bear, okay, and it sits on my bed then next one here is my chest set it is on the table then next one this is my car it is on my table the next picture is a football so here is my football it is on the floor and the last picture it's a picture of cricket bat so this is my cricket bat it is in my cupboard unit 5 names of living things animals and birds look at those pictures of some animals and birds they are living things they also have names their names are given below so in this box there are some names of animals and birds so you have to write the name under the picture okay so the first one is crow so write here crow then next one is owl and then dog and then next one is rabbit and then cat and then cow and then duck then it is goat and the last one is hen unit six some more names animals and birds so you can see the pictures of a few animals and birds below. The name of these animals and birds are on the tree. So you have to write down the name of these animals or birds by seeing the pictures. So first one, this is a giraffe. And then second one is the picture of fox. So this is a fox. Then next one. This is a zebra. Then this is a horse. This is a mouse. This is a peacock. This 
is a tiger. This is a parrot. This is a lion. And the last one is this is a monkey. Unit 7. Name of living things, people. You can see different kinds of people around you. They also have names. Look at the pictures and then match them with the names written in the balloon. So here is a picture of balloon and there are five names. So you have to write this name under the picture. So first one is a picture of baby. So write your baby. The next one is man. Next one is a picture of boy. So it's you have to write boy. Then it's a picture of a girl. So write your girl. And the last one is a picture of woman. So write your woman. Unit 8. Naming words. You know what is naming words? Naming words means name of anything. Okay. So the name of anything is called naming word. So you have to pick up the naming words from the sentence and write them in the blank space. So first one, the baby cried. Here the naming word is baby. Next one, this is my pencil. So here the naming word is pencil. So write here pencil. A fox is clever. So here naming word is fox. Then my shocks are clean. So write here shocks in the blank space because shocks is naming word. And then last one, look at that rabbit. Here the naming word is rabbit. So write rabbit in the blank space. Then number two, the tiger killed a cow. Here we'll find two naming words. One is tiger and another is cow. So write here tiger and cow. And the next one, the dog chewed a bone. So here we'll find two naming words. One is dog and another is bone. So write here dog and bone. Next one, I have a new doll and a balloon. So here we also find two naming words. One is doll and another is balloon. He plays with a bat and ball. Here also we find two naming words. So write here, bat and ball in two blank space. And then the crow sat on a tree. So here we also find two naming words. One is crow, another is tree. So write crow and tree in the blank space. So dear students, that's all for today. Take care.